Scott Sandlin and Minnesota Duluth. Larson taking over the reins here for the Huskies after Bob Motzko left for Minnesota this past spring. The Smith sends in Hain line out there and it creates a chance. Hain back in the net for North Dakota. Three and a half minutes in. Gavin Hain with the opener. One nothing UND. Well, this is the line that I love and they're back together. But look at the play Sendin makes here. I talk about going east-west or the Royal Road, making sure you need to get great goaltenders to move lateral. Sendin makes a brilliant play here and pulls the defender with them. Fourth line out there tonight for North Dakota, Casey Johnson, Ludwig Hoff, Zach Jan. Ooh. That shot just whispers past. David Rennick, happy to see that one go by. Another chance in front. Big time stop by the sophomore from Slovakia. Did we get this one clear? And now a breakaway chance. Patrick Newell skating in. Newell to the backhand, high! Shield again, coming out high on the paint, putting the pressure on. Coming in ready to play, winning the job early in the campaign. Now that shot redirected in front, big save by Scheel. What an opportunity, Sam Hentges, the freshman. And now another chance here, Ryan Paling this time, testing the freshman netminder. Oh, I hope we got that on camera. <laughs> Two on one chance the other way. Rennick, beaten! Well, what I saw in this play, North Dakota, Todd Anderson did the old trigger where his arm went up, he put it down. You never see that happen. It would have been a penalty for North Dakota. They transitioned down. In year six of the NCHC. Of course, North Dakota right now, two points off a top half finish as Dixon Bowen comes in and beats Reddick five home. Three nothing, North Dakota. Jeff Smith's gonna come in. This is a goal that Rennick, you, you, in today's game, you got to have him stop. And I thought uh, the sending goal beat him. Blocker high, he got caught maybe a little deep in his paint, but a, a good play to throw pucks to the net. North Dakota finally maybe getting. Gardner Jones looking again. Smith, loose puck on the crease. Gardner fighting for it. And now covered up here by Smith. To 11 defeats in the circle tonight. They won that battle 29 25 yesterday as Jones leaving it for Shaw. Shaw millimeters away from making this 4 nothing. Shot by Hayden Shaw. Man, we don't get a good enough look there, but I think that's bar down. It pops out, you can see right in there. Nick Jones, he hits that off the left post as well. This will be the best look, Alex. Smith beating glove high. From Todd Anderson right here. Todd quickly saying no goal. As expected, I think. Backhand. Rebound was kicked out. Second chance and a goal. Jimmy Schultz shorthanded. Not what the doctor ordered for the home team. The captain with the big one here. I want to say Blake Lazat goes in. He gets behind Shield. And I just think I think they're going to count this goal. I think Adam Shield almost got out too far. Now if he goes and just brushes his body but he's got to step around him and that's that's the question when you step around him he's impeding the progress but he steps around him and when the shots let go then games will be live on Mitchell said next Sunday the goal will stand you see the points the Ralph doesn't like it I think I think we would both agree that's the right call it would be awfully tough to take that goal away Spencer Meyer tried to knock it down. Here comes Mark Sendin again, leaving it for Hayne. Sendin! Oh, just missed it. Smith was sliding over. Picks up the puck in neutral ice. Hayne! Smith the save! The rebound! In the back of the net! Gavin Hayne, second of the night! A clutch goal again for the freshman from Grand Rapids. And it's 4-1 North Dakota. Been talking about him the whole time. Uh, Mark Sennon had an opportunity to get his second of the night, but right there, what do good goal scorers do? Number one, you fire the biscuit, and you keep driving to that net. If he goes and skates in the corner, he doesn't get this. He puts the puck off the pad. He keeps it in play. He finishes. JBD at the blue line. Redirected in front. Still loose there for a moment. Jones was hacking away. 
Now he and Schultz exchange pleasantries to the left of Jeff Smith. Big goal for him tonight. Here comes Hayne on a hat trick. Smith with the big save, denying the freshman. Much better pushback this evening against the top ranked Huskies. And here comes Dixon Bowen. Great chance there. He follows it up and buries it to make it 5 1. Second of the night for Dixon. Well, Dixon Bowen, he makes this play. Look at that. That's why he's so good on the kill. He just snuffed things out. And right there, North Dakota, the last two goals that they've scored here, Alex, it's been because of the guys going to the net the right way. Here he shoots the puck. He's going to go for a little bit of a skate. Maybe he gets lucky that he gets bumped. Jan now out of the box. Schultz throwing one. Quick glove by Shiel. Victory tonight over number one, St. Cloud State. On a penalty here as Ryan Palin goes down. A slash by Bast. And Paling didn't like that in a 5-1 game, and he's got words for Gabe, and here we go. Well, I saw the initial whack that Bass got in. I want to say, I, it to me looked like it was a little bit of a sell job. The call was really late. A couple of fights mixed in. Some great effort, hustle, and desire from this North Dakota team. Taken down number one. Even though UND finds themselves unranked for the second time in the last three weeks, still one of the best in the country on their day as Shield makes a bit of a highlight reel save. Things are going to get and chippy now up. Set now now going at it. Matt Kier said in Jacob Benson. I doubt they're going to be ready for UND next weekend. Oh, well, we said you couldn't fit anybody else in that box. They added Kirsten now, so five in the North Dakota penalty box. And that's how this thing will end. A five to one win for UND tonight over number one St. Cloud State.